Hey everyone, so right now it's Saturday, 17th of February, uh, 2018, and I'm traveling. So, yeah, it feels really weird uh, vlogging in public again. I think it's been like, it's been about a year since I've done this. Uh, so I'm a little bit rusty, but let's do this. Okay, so let's talk about where I'm going and why. And this trip is going to be two weeks long and I'm going to visit my girlfriend's family in Taiwan. So my girlfriend's already there. And so we'll be in Taiwan for one week and then the week after that we're going to a wedding, um, a cousin's wedding in Guam, which is like an island in the Pacific. I never actually heard of it until uh, we were going to this wedding, but apparently it's like a territory of the US. Uh, so I guess it'd be kind of like Hawaii, but just a little smaller. And yeah, just beaches, relaxing, and it's going to be really fun. Yeah, so it's been about two weeks since I uploaded my last video. And since I can't do any drawings, what I've been doing is I've been uh, busy setting up my online store. So, you know, figuring out suppliers and getting email newsletters set up and just all the logistics and you know building out the website and creating the products and stuff like that so um, it's been really crazy busy um, if you're really anxious to find out about it or sign up for the mailing list uh, just go to jwalkpictures.com and there'll be a little uh, field there where you can sign up Good evening ladies and gentlemen, thank you for waiting. Qatar Airways flight QR909 service to Doha operated in cooperation with our one world This McDonald's is so cool. So they have the service at the bottom and the kitchen at the top. There goes the food. And it comes down. So you can see the Mac is behind me, but I'm not buying it. Um, I need to be healthy. So I'm here, it's like 4am in the morning, um, the flight was pretty uneventful, I just slept a bit, um, but I still need to go to the domestic airport and take another flight uh, to Penghu, which is a small island, and the flight's in a couple of hours, so I've got plenty of time, but I've got to figure out how to get to the other airport, because i got no idea. So this is how you know you're in Taiwan. Um, you'll see this key infrastructure everywhere. Okay, so right now I'm just um, waiting in a food court because the train station is not open yet. It's too early in the morning. Um, so I need to just chill out here for a bit and then I need to figure out how to get to the other airport like which station to go to um, how much it's going to cost and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah just chilling out and relaxing uh, one thing that I've been feeling a lot when I've been making these is I feel super self-conscious um, and I'm generally a pretty shy quiet person but like I said before it's been like a year since I've done these so I'm fully out of practice and it feels really weird, um, even though I know that people just don't care what I'm doing, um, I'm just a random person in a crowd, but yeah, it's crazy how that works. So while I'm here, I should also mention, check out my website, I've got like a coming soon page up, um, and this is for my store that's coming out, so, and I'm just really excited, so every time I have downtime, I just go to the website and check it out because I can't stop looking at it. And here it is. Go here, jwalkpictures.com. Okay, I'm here in a 
another airport. So this is called an international airport, but I think it's actually a domestic one. I don't know how that works. I'm here for another three to four hours until my next flight. Um, so I'm just gonna see if I can do some video editing while at the airport. And I need to get food and I need to brush my teeth. I'm feeling kind of gnarly right now. And I just really want to sleep. Okay, I found 7-Eleven. I need toothpaste. Let's find it. I'm going in. survived my trip to 7-Eleven and this is what I got. Uh, orange juice. Yakult. Banana. The toothpaste. And a rice roll thingy. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna start with this. Um, and the reason I say I survived was because the lady asked me some question at the counter and I didn't understand what she was saying and I kind of just nodded and pointed somewhere. Um, yeah, it's really embarrassing but even though I am Chinese and I look Chinese, I don't speak Chinese. 